What up everybody, Fallout here, and wow, did all of you really enjoy that 50 Games of Gambit video. You've made it clear you want more, and after checking with my community on Discord and Twitch, today I bring you 50 Games of Dead by Daylight. If you're unfamiliar, it's a 4v1 game, four survivors against one killer. This was truly an insane experience, and without any further ado, here we go. Game one, and I guess I'll try out this guy who looks like a dirty IT crowd reject. Unlocking new abilities for my disheveled nerd, and I'm sorry, is this perk called Called slippery meat? I was told this was a wholesome Christian game. I find my first generator and get to work. Apparently we gotta repair these things in order to get out alive. While keeping an eye out for the killer, I miss a quick time event, apparently, confirming my long-held belief that I would be worthless in a horror movie. I hear the killer coming and decide to jump into a nearby locker. He's not gonna find me in here, right? <laughs> Apparently, we have the world's most unobservant killer because my teammate dehooks me right in front of the killer's face. All the generators are repaired, and I'm trying to get the hell out of here, but this D-bag maniac won't stop pounding my meat. I get taken to a better place, and game one is a loss. By the way, I don't know who designed the costumes in this game, but God bless him and God bless America. Game two, and I spawn next to a generator and a chest? That's what I call optimal. I go for the loot chest, and I'm 99% sure that it's not only just a toolbox, but a more awful version of the toolbox that I brought into the match. GG. The killer comes nearby. Rather than run off like a virgin, I pull the alternative Chad move and simply just hide right near where he was looking until he goes away. Before I go to pat myself on the back, I step directly into the trap he left and then get knifed. I manage to get away, but I hear the killer coming back. I'm gonna hide in the locker again. This time he definitely won't see me. <laughs> Oh god, I'm bad at this, aren't I? I don't know how I keep managing to evade death, but all the generators are on, and that means it's time to GTFO. I open the final gate to pave the way to freedom, but what's the protocol here? Do I chicken out and leave alone? Do I go back, help my boys who are still alive? Do I get more rewards if I help them out? Well, I could always take time- Oh god, it's the killer, f*** that, I'm a chicken, we out. Game three, and I partnered up with my buddy Reno, who as it turns out is a grizzled DBD veteran. He recommends I pick up Claudette. We talk about perks and loadouts, and together we run circles around the killer. I'm bobbing weaving, dropping pallets, and self-healing, I've gone from pure meme to scream queen under my buddy's tutelage. Not only do we repair all the generators and get to the door while juking the killer, all our teammates are alive, and I heal our second blueberry so we all get out with full health. Three games in and I'm already toxic. Game four and we're going for back-to-back -back dubs. We out here in the Wild West and apparently this killer hums when she gets close? Yeah, I'm gonna go with hell to the no on that one. This bitch is all over me, but not to worry. I'm an expert juker now. Oh, you can throw axes? What the f***? Despite getting rocked a few times, we open the final door and me and my boy Reno are Audi. I may have played like butt, but at least the team won, right? Game five, and I'm actually starting to wonder if there's even a killer out there. I completely repaired two generators without seeing anybody who resembles anything even close to a threat. And I should have kept my big mouth shut because Ghostface is here and he's trying to turn me into his own personal Nev Campbell. I try to juke my new best friend, but he's having none of it. Thankfully, we managed to get the door open, but none of it matters because my homie Reno gets hooked for the third time and now he's gaming in heaven. He tells me to get out while I can, and even though I made it out, feels like a loss, bro. Game six, and hey, I spawn right next to a generator. Nice to have a little bit of good luck on my side right out the gate. And oh, who the f are you, asshole? My friend informs me that zombies mean big bad nemesis is our current killer, and the little zombie cronies shouldn't be that big of a deal, except this one is camping the generator. I finally ditch the zombie and get to repairing generators, but this map is small and damn nemesis is quick. I try to do my best out here, but he keeps catching me. Eventually, Reno gets sent to the great beyond, and as I get dragged off to my third and final hooking, I can't help but think that if it were Lady D instead, and she were sitting on me, I'd be strangely okay with death. Game seven, and apparently we're facing off against Freddy, and I am really hyped because I can't wait to see a little nightmarish nonsense from this neighborly nuisance. Turns out we'll have to wait another game for that because Freddy couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. Man, I've been chased harder by my grandma after stealing cookies out of the jar before dinner. We open the gate with no problem, and I don't know if my friend is asleep or drunk, but I wake him up and we out. Game eight, and I really want to try and practice nailing those great skill checks, but I'll be damned if I keep failing and having the thing blow up in my face. Normally I'd be worried, but apparently this hag that we're fleeing from never played tag when she was a kid because I breezed by her like a leaf on the wind. A teammate gets hooked and we're sure our other blueberry will help him out, and unfortunately he thought the same thing about us. Our fourth teammate gets KO'd after only getting hooked twice. Uh, might be. Aside from that one mishap, we looking good. Doors open and eh, I guess I'll heal my buddy up before we escape. We ain't in any rush and I could use the extra blood po- Oh hell no, hell no, no points. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Game nine, and I'm back on my own in solo queue. No friend to help me on the mic. 
I've never felt more alive. I spawn near a generator and get to work, nailing not one, but multiple great skill checks. No baddie in sight, and I'm feeling good. Find a few homies near Gen 2. Apparently this is how you communicate off mic in DBD, and you know what? I'm here for it. On Gen 3, while our teammate acts as lookout slash moral support teabagger, and what the hell is that? The mother of God, get out of here with that predator looking ass. Somebody call Arnold. I'm on the run and decide to head right for the cornfield, but getting away won't be that easy, right? Okay, apparently it is that easy. Thanks, Mother Nature. Later, I ditch this guy in the cornfield again and decide that either this is my new favorite map or this killer ain't exactly dealing with a full deck. Doors open and I'm the last one, but hey, we take those. Game 10, and boys, I think I'm about to fight my first Leatherface out here. Chase number one begins and I'm up to my usual shenanigans. I continue to commence Operation Drop Pallets and oh god, he can do that? Oh god, I'm in so much trouble. After learning that Leather Daddy can one bang me with a chainsaw, a local bro helps me up and we try to recover the game. This man has a license to camp and damn he is gonna use it. Try as we might, this guy is locked in and I watch helplessly as my final bro gets buzzed down. Don't mess with Texas, man. Game 11 and don't worry, apparently I've got my own back. I'm on that map I really hate and I wonder who the killer Okay, I'll just leave you be. Hooked within the first 30 seconds, and I am not feeling good about this one. I blow a skill check while off on my own trying to repair a generator. I'm pretty far out though. Maybe the killer is on the other side of the map? Sh I try to juke this guy, but end up juking myself. Hardest L I've taken yet. As I get taken off to the great beyond, I can only hope I'll do better tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, I'll uh, let you take a wild guess how game 12 turned out. All right, let's focus up a little bit here. Game 13 and I want to bring it back. I hop on a generator right away and get to work. Do I hear humming? Oh God, it's that crazy axe bitch again, isn't it? Humming's getting louder. I'm gonna bail before her loony Bugs Bunny ass shows. Oh shit. I get ready to take her for a loop and okay. I don't know if I'm relieved or insulted. My teammate and I want to get the hell out of here and we are repairing like the wind, but the humming always seems to be nearby. What kind of map is this? I try to head over and de-hook a teammate, but oh wait, she's here? Let's see where she's going to take my newly downed buddy. And she's coming this way. Three generators left and of course she won't leave me in peace. All I can do is just loop a bit longer. Ah, all right. Take me to the hook and I'll just wait to get taken. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? You can't just do that. Can you do that? Questions for later, I guess. Game 14 and uh, hey man, are you gonna help me repair this gen or squat there and be an asshole? Yeah, that's better. Moving on to generator number two and what the hell was that? Ah, well, if it ain't the invisible cunt. Hey teammate, thanks for getting me off the hook. Oh, cool. Finally, I get a moment to breathe. Thanks for healing me up, booty lord 666. Hey man, why'd you stop? Oh, that's why. Trying to get my teammate off the hook before the entity takes him and oh, why did you die before I got here? Cheese and crackers. Go, cheese and crackers times two. Yeah, this game's an L and I am getting discouraged. Game 15 and what the hell did I just get hit by? Did they give this killer a cattle prod or am I out of my mind? I'm being chased by a man with really weird eyes and I just don't appreciate it. Sweet cut off sleeves, bro. I'm out here fighting for my life, but definitely glad I didn't miss the gun show. Back to work on a generator. Uh, what the fuck? was that? The killer apparently likes pranking people with generator tampering. Good to know, I guess. Hiding from the killer and he is definitely tampering with that generator. He apparently is half blind and I know I shouldn't, but let's give it a shot. Ah, damn it. I'm the last one alive, but I'm still going to make you work for it, you bastard. All right, leaping out the window here. Can killers even jump? <laughs> Okay, I can't even be mad about that one. Game 16, and hey, we're back at the cornfield. Nail a great skill check, but right afterwards, it gives me the FU check, and nah, I'm out of here. I'm so on edge right now that I flat out blow two in a row, and wow, am I just a jittery, worthless teammate right now. Ghostface is floofing around in the background, but I am actually kind of comforted that I can keep an eye on him. When he heads in my direction, though, nah, I ain't taking that chance. We only need one more gen, and I haven't done anything the entire game. No matter what, I am committing to getting this done. 95% done, and oh god, the heartbeat. I can hear it. I don't care. I'm staying. I finish it and take off into the cornfield. Bill, you open that door right now, goddammit. I try to heal him up for some extra points, but the killer ain't having none of that. Oh well, got away this time, but it didn't feel like a great round overall. Game 17, and I've dragged my boy Mega Magwitch in on Team Survivor on the condition that he doesn't use his rookie voice. Right, Mega? Gee whiz, Fallout. This is gonna be swell. God damn it. This is Mega's first ever game of DBD, by the way, and hell yeah, we got the cornfield. I tell Mega about how to become one with the corn, but he's too busy failing skill checks. This is tough, goddammit. 
All right, and it's hard to listen when you spent 10 minutes before the game talking about the wooden plank meta. We're up against some noob ghost face swinging wildly and we ditch him no problem in the corn. Mega gets out of his first game alive, albeit at a different gate as mine. Uh, Fallout? This guy on our team's teabagging like a maniac at the exit with me? Is that normal? Welcome to DBD, buddy. Game 18 and I do not like this map. Everything is so close together, I feel like my heartbeat is pounding the entire game. Why is there all this crap all over the walls? This town's falling to sh**, buddy. That's for damn sure. The killer tries to roll up on me, but <laughs> call me the carpenter, because I'm out here laying wood. Oh, what the hell? Parkour! Parkour! Okay, apparently this is a goddamn nimble killer, and I ain't about it. The killer runs by as I heal, but because I commit like a baller rather than panic and stand up, Ain't no problem here. Mega and I try to save our last teammate from the hook after opening the gate, but break out the tent and the s'mores, y'all, cause this motherfucker is camping. We can't manage to get to him, but oh well, at least we got out. Game 19, and I'm spawning in right near a generator. That is what we call skill. Hey, Fallout, there's some kind of scraggly looking bitch running around out here. Uh, can we be more specific? Oh Jesus, she's popping out of the ground. Hag on the field, roger roger. My looping training might finally be paying off because I am breaking at this jabroni's ankles hard. Multiple times we engage in the 1v1 dance and every time I managed to lose her and get away. I couldn't be any greasier if I got lubed up in Crisco. Mega's getting targeted pretty badly. I try to throw myself in front of the killer, but it is too late. Hook number three. Sorry, bud. I'm last one at the gate and the killer is coming my way. I give her the slip, unhook our final blueberry, then break her ankles one more time before hitting the road with a little BM on top. At least I managed to get out alive. Ooh, now I'm a spooky ghost. I'll spectate you from beyond the grave and watch you whenever you're taking a dump. God, I love this game. Game 20. Oh, God damn it. It's the weird eyed electric asshole again. Uh oh. Do we not like this guy? Oh, you'll learn in time, my friend. I'm working hard to get generators done, but hooks are happening left and right. Ah, Jesus. What the hell? Does this guy have flashbangs? That and hate in his heart, my guy. Dr. Dickhead gets every except for our last teammate and suddenly it becomes very apparent why we didn't get a lot of generator work done. Killer's toying with him at the gate and that's gonna be a big fat L. Game 21 and get a load of Luau Larry over here. Way to keep a low profile, bro. We got Amanda from Saw running around out here and I think my teammates may have gotten picked off in record time. Everyone's got some kind of goddamned bear trap on their head and Lord knows I don't know how to help them get it off. Welp, everyone's dead before my first hook and I decide to just let good old Amanda take me without a fight. Boys, you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Game 22 and either I got a drunk teammate stumbling around in the background or it's a zombie. Drunk? Nah, zombie. We got a nemesis out here. We're about two minutes into this game and already we have three generators done already? Man, we are flying. Mega gets chased off the gen by the big bad zombie dad and apparently he doesn't notice I'm here too. Hey Mega, keep him busy, will ya? Faster fallout, work faster. Fallout, 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 work faster. Work faster, fallout, work faster, work faster, work faster. You're doing great, buddy, keep it up. We blow through all the generators like nobody's business and this one is over in world record time. I look for a BM opportunity, naturally, but nemesis this ain't biting. Big win. Game 23 and oh yeah, hashtag cornfield. We are fighting my first ever Demogorgon and this dude is ruthless. Everyone is getting God out here. Does this bastard have the nose of a bloodhound? I'm out here healing up in places miles from the Gorgon and without any chase taking place at all, he just beelines right to where I am. Hey, Mega, what's our fourth teammate doing? He's uh been hiding in a locker for about two minutes. Terrific. Wow, I feel like a doggy chew toy. Great experience, 11 out of 10. Game 24 and we are back in that terrible insane asylum map. A teammate gets hooked early on and I literally cross the entire map to save him and even though I get tripped up on the way, he waits for me to get right there and then disconnects at the last second. You had time left, bro, why? Well, we're down one player immediately. That always leads to great games, right? I'm getting chased by the killer and decide to go wild card, run into the basement because no smart person would run down there. Shockingly, it actually works, but it doesn't matter because Mega and I get got and our fourth teammate who I'm pretty sure has been standing in a corner for half the game ain't really rushing to help us out. Another L. Game 25 and I'm feeling it discouraged. Hopefully the game shows us a little mercy and it's my least favorite map. Oh good, I'm right on time for my next appointment with Dr. Douchebag. Guys, I gotta tell you, I'm almost tempted to upload all of game 25 as its own video. This game was an absolute marathon at almost half an hour. The killer must be going after some weird challenge. He keeps leaving us on the floor and moving around quickly to the next person. 
We are stuck on one final generator for the absolute longest time. The three of us keep reviving each other and kiting the doctor away repeatedly. We are looping and wasting his time like there is no tomorrow. There is never one moment where we're far from finally losing the game. Somehow I lead him away for the final generator to get repaired. Mega gets the gate open and after over 20 minutes of dodging this guy, well, why don't I just leave you with this live recorded moment of pure joy? Dude, no way. Dude, this is the door. Come on. <laughs> Dude, no way. <laughs> we get out of this. BM, 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 BM. Game 26, and we're halfway through now. How about we swap over to Killer? Because these things take forever to record, I have some experience as the killer from Twitch, but to keep things fresh, I decide to go with a character I haven't played with. I decide I'm going with Ghostface because I'm Wes Craven some violence. <laughs> Maybe I should have watched a tutorial because I have no idea how I'm supposed to stalk. Mainly I'm just peering around random corners like some kind of peeping Tom. I get my first hook, then someone immediately tries to undo my hard earned handiwork. Whoa, oh I'm targeting the de-hooked survivor. Is that what the kids call tunneling? Boy, it would be a real shame if I didn't give a single f Well, that's hook number three for you and normally I'd feel bad, but that's what you get for wearing Robin's egg blue in a swamp. Is that some kind of cosmetic symbol over your head? Why don't you just paint a target on your back, lady? This other survivor is absolutely breaking my ankles with her dodging abilities, and I don't know if I'm mad or impressed. Eventually, I hang her out to dry, but the final survivor manages to get away. I guess three out of four ain't bad, but I definitely need to learn how to ghost face. Game 27, and apparently I'm supposed to fully stalk any jabroni I find in order to expose them? I decide to test it out on our friendly neighborhood Leon. He goes for the pallet, but he ain't quick enough. Apparently another survivor is already nearby, but the question is, can I manage to track them? Oh. She unhooks Leon and I reward her with a knife. I should probably hook her, but I try to go for a twofer. Leon tries to bamboozle me with the pallet and gets got. I go back to look for the other body, but apparently I was gone way too long, whoopsie daisy. I go back for Leon and set him up for hook number two. I'm gone for five seconds and again with the unhooking? I haven't even left the area yet. Oh, oh, which way am I going? Oh, nice try, sport. I prop him up and ooh, a frame perfect hook to disconnect combo. Gentleman number two gets hooked and while I'm out hunting, he apparently dies. Do his teammates not care? And I think I got my answer. Thankfully, I'm one of the few killers in the game who can teabag back. Unknown to outsiders, this dance officially means GG. Ghostface game number two down, and that is a total team kill, baby. Game 28, and I'm trying to get better at this whole stalking thing. Man, taking down people in just one knife swing is so easy. I should try to do that every time. Bill is being a tremendous pain in my ass. He's an old man, but apparently he's been sneaking out of the nursing home to become an Olympic track star. Two down and two to go, as I decide I'm gonna run down Bill no matter what. Stop running, you old prick. I don't know how many little blue pills you popped before the match, but it can't be good for your heart. I finally hang old Bill out to dry and look for my final target, but the game ends abruptly, and I realize that crafty ho snuck out the goddamned escape hatch. Mark my words, that ain't gonna happen anymore. Game 29, and oh crap, I'm on the cornfield. I gave killers a hard time out in the cornfield. Gotta make sure people don't do the same to me. We out here tracking down victim number one and... Wow. Trust me on this one, girl. I think you need to be protected from yourself. Trying to lock up my first kill out here and where'd you go? God, God damn it, I got juked in the cornfield. I'm down to the final two and oh, what's this? If it ain't the escape hatch, well, now at least I know where it is. Okay, get ready for the final round of stalk and slash. Whoa, uh, what? I thought you could only go through the escape hatch on the last generator. Oh, fuck me. All right, I'm reading up on the escape hatch. Okay, apparently the hatch is more complex than I thought, and also one of those bastards probably had a key, which is total bullshit. Game 30 and I am getting my ass kicked. This guy apparently has the ability to do a Naruto run and it is driving me up the wall. I managed to get plenty of people on hooks, but I can't close because this team is organized. I pick up the thickest survivor I've ever seen in my life and put her on a hook while the doors are being opened. And I decide I don't want to be that guy and just sit there and watch her. I try to go out for more survivors, but again, they are damned organized. Everyone manages to get away and uh, yeah, feels bad. Ghostface, I really like you, but I'm tired of slinking around in the shadows. I want to try out someone who's rash and bold. Perfect. Game 31, and there is clearly a timing on these hatchets I gotta get better at. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Booyah. Okay, find your moment. Be patient. Oh yeah, you can't teach that. 
Hey, Jill, hold this for me real quick. Thanks. I'm having way too much fun, but the door gets opened and two survivors make it out. Not bad. Could have done a little better, but there's definitely potential here with the Huntress, and I'm feeling it. I want to make other people fear her the way I do. Game 32, and I am slicing right out of the gate. Chasing down my bleeding victim and really going to keep repairing that thing right in front of me. I'm getting looped by two survivors and devise an epic plan. It's called suck that hatchet. One in the basement. Let's go for more. I'm out here chasing the Nancy and after hitting her, now she decides to head down to the basement and get her friend. She just misses the timer on her pal in the basement and oh, uh, did I hit her? <laughs> I don't know why players who wear this skin are always a pain in my ass, but they really are. She's really giving me the runaround, but... Booyah! Bill gets her off the hook, but he ends up taking her place. I'm chasing down the last survivor, and she is really not giving up without a fight. Just letting you know, I can do this all day. All you gotta do is make one mistake. Oh, oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 fuck! Okay, I talked with the Huntress and she wants to take a break. Luckily, my boy Mikey is up to the challenge and I've got some practice with him under my belt already. And by that, I mean standing awkwardly and breathing in the corner is something I've been doing for years. I'm back in the goddamned cornfield and it's time to breathe asthmatically like a baller. Why chase when you can watch? By now, I've become one with the corn and catch Claudette Luton. Her grand prize, a one-way ticket to Basement City. Out here chasing somebody else when I'm alerted that apparently someone is not happy with their current hook situation in the basement. I find the two BFFs and realize the perfect solution. There, now they can both keep each other company in Basement City. I'm looking for somewhere to hang this victim and... What the hell are you, are you sabotaging that hook right in front of me? Get the hell out of here. The audacity of some people. I'm in the end game now and so help me God, if you find the hatch, I am gonna absolutely make lose it. Come here and... Here. That's a four piece, and the entity within me is happy. boy, Mikey. Game 34. All right, gonna stick with Michael. Just waiting for a full team of players to load into the... <gasps> We're actually in Haddonfield, and even though it feels like home to Mikey, I kind of think this map blows. The building layouts are awkward, and I'm spending way too much time chasing people through weird backyard alleyways with very obstructive shrubbery. I hook a few people, but the map's kind of small, and this group is working quick. They manage to get the gates open, and I go from a total team wipe to a total team getaway. F. Game 35, and apparently there's a way where I can build Mikey, so not only do I have unlimited evil within three, but I can also flat out kill perfectly healthy people? Only hang up is that apparently it's going to take a really long time to power up that hard. There's no way this is going to work, right? Load into the game and hello, free stock number one. The bar is moving kind of quick. This doesn't seem so bad. Oh man, we are on tier two and the meter is crawling now and I won't be able to stock this jabroni much longer. Yep, we're at the limit and nowhere near tier three. Time to go find somebody else, I guess. Ah, well, hello, hello. This strategy has taken absolutely forever and I'm beginning to fear that I may in fact be a giant idiot. After spending half the game stalking, I finally hit unlimited tier three. Cue the piano music. I finally catch up to survivor number one and immediately one poke her to the ground. I thought I could insta-kill though. Was I not right about that? Claudette out here trying to give me the old loop-de-loo and uh, what's happening right now? Whoa, whoa, that is what I'm talking about. Maybe it only works if I don't lunge? Wow, that's so much more efficient than the hook. Ooh, survivor number two using the flashlight when I have flashlight immunity. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for him. Oh, sorry, champ. Thanks for playing, but I'm at tier three right now and I'm going to insert something something hard into you that came out wrong. Final two survivors get lunged to hook true comboed and that's gonna be a win. Game 36, and this build is way too fun. I gotta try it again. Unfortunately, that comes to bite me in my giant serial killer ass because I am in the goddamned MLG Grand Finals apparently and this is the most organized team I've ever gone head to head with. They are so good at hiding from my stalking. By the time I finally get to tier three, they only have one generator left. They're all state track stars and I can't corner a single one. All four of them make it out alive, teabagging all the way, and that is a huge L. Even though I just got fed my own nuts, I'm going to give the one-shot Mikey another go in game 37. I start stalking, and I don't know if the survivors know exactly what I'm trying to do out here, and I feel like they're not taking me seriously. Man, they are bagging and pointing, and I am out here stalking away. Again, I don't think they know I'm intentionally not hurting them. Yet, anyway. I finally get tier 3 activated and decide to show Captain Bags a lot that no, I'm not a two-fingered nine-year-old playing on mobile. I am slow playing, and they are all now in big big trouble. One down, three to go. I'm chasing the Claudette out here and damn, she is feisty. Dropping so many pallets on me, looping me round and round and teabagging and pointing at every opportunity. I chase her for what feels like forever and eventually she's all out of tricks and all out of pallets to drop. I'm not gonna lie to you, 
that one felt satisfying. Survivor number three gets hooked due to a lunge and I poke Steve right in the butt as he hops over a ledge. That's going to be a GG and I've redeemed one shot Mikey. Game 38 and let's mix things up. I am trying out the Demogorgon who I have yet to touch. I'm opening up portals on the ground but it doesn't matter because I can't figure out for the life of me how to travel to the nearest one. Again I can see him right there but I just can't figure out how to get there. F it, I'll figure it out later. Lunging on other people from far away is really fun, but god damn is it annoying when I fall short by an inch. I still can't figure out how to get to my damn portal. I can see the freaking thing right there. How do I get to you? Oh wait, did it turn red? Is that something? Gotta figure that out. I wind up losing two jerks to the hatch, but I'm way more concerned with figuring out how to use the goddamned portal. Game 39. Why don't we try this again, shall we? I am getting looped out of my fucking mind out here, and it is driving me up a wall. I'm sure Demogorgon is good if you actually know how to play him, but I feel like a drunk dog chasing my own tail. Okay, why don't we try the portal thing one more t Oh, you have to be standing on one to get to the other? Yeah, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Well, if you don't feel like an idiot half the time, it ain't dead by daylight. This butthound got off the hook again, and I'm back to getting my ankles broken out here. I have never been this frustrated in a chase. I finally lunged this little troublemaker on her ass, but too much time has gone by now. Ultimately, two got away, but at least this god-tier looper got what was coming to him. I call that a personal victory. Game 40, and I don't think I'm feeling the Demogorgon. I'm looking to try out somebody else, and I'm sorry, do you have a gun? Spear people and reel them in? Oh, I gotta try you. Holy sh**. It, this is the greatest character in the game. All right, gotta reel you in apparently. I, what the hell? Okay, might not have done it right. Okay, got you pulled all the way in. Now what? God damn it. Okay, one more time. Oh, it's all clear now. You just gotta pull him close enough to whack him with your gun. The old pull and whack. Now you're talking my language. The mind games are real. Survivors are terrified I'm gonna shoot them and they dodge so much you can just walk up and whack them. Yeah, just uh, go get your friend off that hook over there. Psych! Oh, we got a live one here. Oh, she's fighting me, paw. Game's over and I only got one kill, but there is absolutely potential here. I gotta go with this guy again. It's the next day and we are back for game 41. I still love this guy, but I need to warm up. I'm firing shots too late and whiffing general attacks that I really need to be hitting all the time. Still though, when you hook and reel a dude in, damn, that is real satisfying. Bill and Leon are working together to make my life miserable and I'm doing my best to punish him for it. I grab Leon out from the final gate, but Bill decides he wants to be a hero. Unfortunately, you either die a hero or something something Batman. Guess everyone on your team went for the exit, eh, Bill? Looks to me like you've been left for dead. Game 42 and I'm moving fast, but so are they. Hey, can I hit you through the window while chained? Oh my God, game changer. I'm going for a lot of MLG shots, but my aim needs work. Every time I whiff is more time for them to get away. I'm trying to work on my through the window strat more. That's gonna be hugely helpful the more I play with this guy. One dude dead, but I spent too much time chasing and not enough time hooking. I go for one final epic downtown shot, but mistime it. The entity is displeased with only one dude dead, but calm down, buddy. Rome wasn't built in a day. Game 43 and things are going much better. Got someone up on a hook early and learning when to shoot and when to just whack. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ooh, gotcha. Leon's trying to play the window game with me, but now that I know I can stab over a ledge, things are going to go a little differently. Oh, don't try it. Don't you try it. Boom. Two survivors are out and things are looking good. I catch Leon in the worst hiding place ever and give him the opportunity to meet the entity face to face. All right, one more to go. All I got to do is find him before he manages to find the... Oh, God damn it. I hate the hatch. Game 44 and I'm wasting no time out here. A survivor survivor goes for the doorway and ooh, so close. I hang her up on the hill hook and go looking for more trouble. Find another survivor and what do you know, the hill hook is free again. Better keep it warm. Someone's trying to de-hook my hill hook capture and just by aiming my gun, they are paranoid I'm gonna shoot so much that they never de-hook their friend. Whoa, hey, got free there, did ya? Get your ass back down here. Some survivor apparently is really confident about sabotaging the hook while I'm straight stabbing her in the ass. Onto the hill hook with you. This goes on for a while. Someone tries to free a player from the hill hook, harpoon, stab, rinse, and repeat. I go to hook my latest prey only to realize they straight up rage quit. One by one, the other survivors get dragged in and hung out to dry. Oh man, is that the hatch? <laughs> Would be a shame if I closed it. One survivor left and they are shaking their head no, but I'm sorry. I need this. That would be a 4K, baby. Game 45, and I smell a couple of Yankee varmints fiddling with my gin. Cool jacket dude goes for the window, and no, that, 
that ain't happening. I'm really starting to master when to shoot and when to just whack, and this game is off to a really good start. I'm getting looped through a big old warehouse, and there's a window here I just missed the cutoff for. I see Junior rapping for another lap, but I give this poor sap a hook nap in a snap. It ain't take me long to figure out this map. I'm starting to lead my shots real good, and now people are starting to die to the entity. I'm doing okay, but I gotta move quicker. Now I'm getting antsy, and I'm whipping shots left and right. Thankfully, she heads for a ledge, and I'm pretty much Mr. Ledge by now. I get a third survivor hooked and gone, but the gates are open and the final player is out of here. Yeah, that one got away. But as my pappy used to say, three out of four ain't bad, partner. Game 46. I hurt some chump early on. Whip the shot, but no big deal. I'll just... Where the hell are the scratch marks? What kind of map is this? Rocky start, but we're making up for it as quickly as we can. I sweep snipe a lorry, but I gotta leave her on the ground because the nearby hook is under attack. There we go. Problem solved. And let's put you back up there. I shank a fleeing player and she's getting pretty far, but F it. Oh, damn. Longest one yet. Oh, it was too far. She got away. I hook me another lorry and oh man, they are dropping like flies now. I yeehaw one through the window, finish her off and send her out to the great beyond. It's cowboy versus babysitter, but I'll be damned if that little minx didn't find that freaking hatch. Once again, three out of four, but I'm counting that as a win. Game 47 and I've got a good handle on the gun em down, pull em in cowboy. Why don't we try somebody new? Hey, look, a killer who was visually designed to look like me. We're on one of my least favorite maps and this killer is hard. The chainsaw rush is cool, but you can barely only go in a straight line and there's so much crap out here in my way. A survivor pulls literally the worst juke I've ever seen in my life, and I reward her with a one-way ticket to Hookville, USA. Ooh, okay, chainsaw. Go, 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 go. Damn it. I got excited. Hey, that's a cute little flashlight you got there. Too bad I'm the goddamn hillbilly and I eat flashlights for breakfast. Okay, come on, chainsaw. Go, 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 go. <laughs> ah, damn it. I end up getting three out of four, which ain't bad for my first hillbilly, and I'll be damned if I didn't land one chainsaw the whole freaking match. We gotta try that again. Game 48 on the cornfield, and this is the most irritating survivor I've ever chased in my fucking life. I can't land any hits, and I literally spend 90% of the game chasing her. How is my chainsaw missing when I'm literally right in your face? Oh my god, get on that fucking hook already. I'm starting to rock people now, but it doesn't matter at all because I spent the whole game chasing that one D-bag and whiffing with the world's worst chainsaw. Oh yeah? You're gonna unhook? Yeah, try dodging this one. Extra whiff on the way out and holy ass balls, I can't use this guy at all. Game 49 and I ain't hillbillying anymore. F it, I'm going back to the scariest bitch on the roster. Lori out here trying to get cute with me on the staircase, but I am not having it. I want that 4K so bad I can taste it. I get Lori up on my shoulder and uh, oh, hey there. Cute flashlight. More like Trash light. Lori's hooked and Survivor 2 doesn't go far. Now I got them both in this hallway. Guess I better start. What the hell? Why are you here? You want to play musical chairs on the hook or something? No skin off my butt. Later, I get another hook. And again, why are you all this close to me? Jeez, two bodies in the hallway. I get, what the fuck? Why are you here again? Hiya! Apparently Lori's here too, but I can't throw anything at her because I'm already carrying another one of these jabroni freaks on my burly lady shoulders. Once again, people put too much faith in their flashlight and I tear them a new axe hole. There's two left. I decide to risk it all and it pays off with a classic double hatchet kill. The entity is pleased and so am I. My first 4K with the Huntress. Here we are, game 50, and I'm going for the legendary back-to-back -back 4K. All my training has led to right now and I know I can do it. I fly out of the gate like a bat out of hell and I am chopping and whacking. This lady right here trying to be an athlete, but she get a hatchet right up her bum. Damn it, I'm jittery and I whiff a throw. Gotta clench up, dude. I want our final game to end on a win really badly. I get a deep hatchet kill and now people are starting to die on the hook. Two down with one generator remaining and I am hot on Claudette's tail right now. I nail her with the hatchet over the pallet and oh, it is looking good. Oh God, final target, I'm right behind her. It's the double 4K. I can feel it. I go for the cutoff. But wait, what the hell? Where did you go? You down here? No. It'll be fine. I found her once. I can find her again. I just gotta get to her before she finds the- <gasps> No! <laughs>